Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's episode, Ghost, Circus, Sertris Edition. Oh, my Lanta. Did that explode everywhere? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I had a few things happen that made me sell to 1031 Exchange to get into a bigger apartment complex. One thing that happened was I sold my solar business. Um, another thing that happened was doing 1031 Exchange with Southern Property. The problem is when you do a 1031 Exchange, you have a time limit from when you sell your property. You have a time limit. I think it was 120 days. And this was, when was this? This was last year or something. I don't know when it was, but things were crazy. Everyone was buying everything. I was wanting a unique Airbnb property. The problem is I already got my resort property that I'm working on now. And so I, you can't, you can't go back and say, oh crap, actually I want a 1031 exchange this property that I just barely got. Like, yeah. So, so long story short, it came down to a time crunch. I had to do something. I had to buy something with that 1031 exchange. So I reached out to a friend who I actually bought duplexes from and he had a big project going on to then roll in my 1031 exchange. So it wasn't on purpose. I didn't plan sell this, roll it into that exact property. It was sold my business, sold, got, sold the duplex to get 1031 exchange and then looked hard for a unique Airbnb property close by local, I could mow and I couldn't find it. And so it was kind of an accident to then put it in the apartments. So again, I don't regret it. In hindsight, I would have been okay to not do any of this. Um, but I don't, so I don't regret it, but that's the one experience I have with the 1031 exchange and it worked out. It was technically good on paper. Point is, I don't have experience of deciding when and what time to do it.